Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But this isn't a private reading so it may not resonate with you. It may or it may not. Remember, this is for the month of December. We're not even in December yet. We're about to be. But it's for the whole entire month. That means it may not resonate until the end of the month. So you may need to come back and watch it later. It may resonate now or in the middle of the month. Or, you know, this is a future thing. Okay, so keep that in mind. We're going to get one of these. And then we're going to break into this for the, for the spread. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Ooh, it's your card. Look at that. Beautiful. So happiness is coming. Happiness is coming. You know, the sun is going to shine again. It absolutely is. So if you've been feeling down or feeling, look at that, I just brought the light in. The sun is absolutely going to shine again, so don't give up hope. It's a time, you know, don't give up hope. Because whatever it is that you have been cultivating is growing, okay? Keep that in mind. Your happiness is going to come back if it's been lost in any way. You know, things are going to lighten up. I can hear some of you saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's funny. Leo, what does Leo need to hear? You know, for things to grow, you know, they, ha they sometimes have to go through struggle to grow. They have to push through the dirt to grow. So, you know, you may be going through something tough, but you're going to you're going to you're going to come out of it. You are. It's just below the surface. Leo. Mm. Justice. Beautiful. Justice is going to be served in your favor. Something is going to happen to bring some balance back to your life. You may even be coming into some money. I'm not sure. But this is an opportunity to start over. It is. To start at the beginning. You may have been up against some naysayers or one naysayer in particular. You may be up against somebody that brings conflict into your life. Could be Libra. Could be could be Libra. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm not sure. Um, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. There's one cycle in your life that hasn't quite completed yet. Okay, the actual completion hasn't happened and you may be feeling a little lost and empty inside, but it is going to come to an end sooner or later. It is. You're dealing with somebody who is um, kind of mean spirited. So just beware. You may be dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions with the king of cups reversed, which would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This man in reverse is doesn't have good intentions. They may just be after your stability. Keep that in mind. You know, somebody may not be expressing their true feelings about love. They may be saying that they love you, but it's not true. This person is actually emotionally withdrawn. Be careful. This is also a card of karma. Mm. 
And you know, you guys need to find the strength and the courage and the discipline to say no to people that don't serve you. <laughs> Seriously. To end negative cycles in your life and to bring the light in and to bring the happiness in, you need to walk away from people that hurt you. Oh my God. It's like you guys are constantly grieving. It's time to step back from any situation that hurts you. I'm not kidding. Three of Swords is the pain. Okay, we have pain here that somebody is holding on to. Maybe feeling guilty or feeling that like they did something wrong. Well, you can't control people that don't have good intentions. That's out of your control. Now you have an opportunity to take back your power because that's the Ace of Swords, which makes it the Four of Swords. You have the opportunity to take back your power. To be honest about something that is a dead end situation, you have you can do it. You have to choose to do it though. You have to face it. You have to look up and you have to face it. But somebody is trying to avoid any pain, avoid any sacrifice. But staying in a false situation that's a lie is only going to bring you more karma. It's time to be honest with yourself and everybody involved. You need to find the strength to take care of yourself first. Restrain yourself. And you haven't been restraining yourself. You've been letting people... Walk all over you. And now you have a choice between two paths with the lover's card. Do you stay where you're at or do you move towards something more harmonious, more peaceful, more loving, more suited for you? Or do you keep holding on to a dead-end situation for maybe codependent reasons? I mean, the strength card reversed. I don't want to be alone. There's codependency here. It's time to wake up. This is awakening. There's that Ace of Swords word. Take back your power. Be honest with you, with yourself. This is the sword of power, the sword of truth. This is a new beginning to take that sword in your hand. You take control. You have a choice between two people. You do. With a lover's card, that's what this is. And it's probably unexpected. It is unexpected. But right now, you feel like... You can't, because you can't see this other person right now, or you're unsure about the past, you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? It's like a lot of sadness here. It's, there is, there's a lot of sadness here because you're feeling empty and incomplete on the inside because you don't want to be alone and you don't want to make the wrong decision because you don't want to end up alone. Well, the fact of the matter is, staying with the wrong one makes you feel alone. And you need to find the strength and the courage and the discipline to be honest with yourself, be honest with everybody else involved and stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for people that don't have good intentions for you when you do have somebody else and it will be brought to you from an angel when the time is right. But if you keep wallowing in your self-pity about your worth and your, 
your, you know, your self-worth, your self-esteem, your attractiveness, whatever it is. If you keep, you know, going back to all your flaws, you're going to stay stuck. Whoever this new person is in the future, they don't care what you look like. They don't. They are going to love the skin that you are in and they're going to be your perfect match. But you need to find the discipline to remove yourself from the people that don't serve you. Seriously. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly. You are for people that don't have your, your back. Because you don't have the courage to do the right thing. You don't have the courage to be honest with everybody involved. You don't want to be alone. When you're growing, you're doing it alone. So in December, we have an unexpected choice. You have to choose with that lover's card. You know, this person is going to help you to heal. You're going you're gonna to help them heal, too. It's a mutual thing where two people come into each other's lives and they help each other heal and they fall in love. But it's your choice and there's consequences for this is a card of consequences. There's consequences for the choice that you make. If you don't have the strength to stop sacrificing yourself for people that don't have good intentions and hurt you, then you're going to receive that consequence. Now, the Justice card is about consequences as well. You get consequences. You have consequence. You have some consequences for your actions on both sides of you, the strength card. There's consequences for sacrificing yourself for people that <laughs> don't care about you. They want your stability. They want your security. They want you to take care of them, right? And you have an opportunity to go down a new path, to start in a new direction, learn new skills, you do. You have that opportunity right now. You have the opportunity to take back your power. But it's going to take mastering your emotions, finding that mental strength, putting yourself in the driver's seat, and getting out of the situations that you are in right now. It's about mastering your emotions, taking the lead to bring victory and success to your life. You are the driver of your life. Nobody else is. There's only one person driving that vehicle, and that's you. And you have to face the opposition. Absolutely, that's part of life. Stop being stuck and hanging on to dead-end situations. Absolutely sacrificing yourself. You're doing it to yourself. Sacrificing yourself needlessly for people that don't have good intentions. And now you have a new opportunity for abundance and security, extreme abundance. Something that, you know, this is a golden opportunity to go down a new path where the grass is greener, for real. It's being given to you from above But you have to think positive and you need to stop staying stuck. You need to let something end that needs the end. You guys are going through a transformation now. You are. And it's a painful one. It is a painful transformation. You're going through it. Well, you would say a release and a, transfer, a transition. But you're hindering the progress by not finding. This is a card of mental strength. And then we have the strength underneath it, which is reverse. You need to find the mental strength to say... You don't serve me. You don't serve me. You don't serve me. You're not helping me. I want more. I deserve more. I want a new beginning. I want growth. I want happiness. You need to say those things. 
Death is an ending. This is also Scorpio. We have Pisces. We have Cancer. We have Gemini. We have everybody. Endings bring new beginnings. And that's what you need to realize. You need to find the strength to, to release... Anything that's keeping you stuck from finding your true soulmate. Unless you want to pay, live with the consequences, the penalty of not finding the strength to master your emotions and go in a new direction on your own. You decide, I'm going on my own, you're not coming with me, and this new opportunity will come into your life as if by magic. But you have to decide to release and somebody is not is refusing to wake up. The judgment card reversed. Refusing to wake up. Not seeing things clearly. Lack of awareness. Not answering that call. It's so, you're so, 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 so close to a new beginning here. But you have to forgive yourself. And you have to wake up. You have to accept the truth. That you know inside of you. That something has no chance Something has no chance of working out, but you're still holding on to it. Because you need to, it's a, the karmic lesson is strength. Karmic lesson. And you haven't learned it yet. Because karma is upright, the lesson is reversed. You haven't learned the lesson, and it's your own strength. And you're ruled by strength, so it really is one of your karmic lessons. Big time. Strength. So you guys are needing to find the strength to release. And that's a big deal. <laughs> you need to find the strength to release so that you can find your soulmate. And that is going to take discipline, courage, willpower, And when you find your ability to do that, to restrain yourself and remove yourself from situations that don't serve you, you will, you will receive something from above. And this is a new connection with somebody that is going to love you for who you are. A perfect match. But you're stuck. You're hanging on. You're hanging on to something. And now there's consequences for that. So and this is, like I said, there's consequences. If you don't find the strength to master your emotions, this is a card to release as well. Master your emotions and release this karmic lesson, which is about strength. If you don't find it, then you're not going to get this match. You're going to be left out. You're not going to get what you deserve. You're not. Goodness. You you've got somebody in your life that has hidden agendas and secrets. They keep secrets from you. And it's caused you to go through a repression, but you allow it. You're allowing it. You're allowing yourself to go through a repression because of another person. Somebody also is not following their intuition because again I don't want codependency code I need attention I need attention and if you need attention from the wrong people that's what you're gonna get lack of abundance lack of wish fulfillment 
a chapter needs to close. Nines are about closure. You need to find the strength to close the door on whatever it is that is causing you all this emptiness. Somebody has become emotionally unavailable, and, and I think it's you, because you're dealing, and it's probably because of the other person. The other person is not putting in effort. They're filling you up with a bunch of lies. And you need to see it from what it, for what it is. This is a card of ego and pride as well. And this, in the strength card is, I mean, ego and pride as well. And, and I know that you guys don't want to hear that, but that is the truth. You need to swallow your pride. It's not what you did. And I know you cross-watchers are going to want to point the fingers at the Leo as well. <laughs> when I do your reading, it's for you. This is for them. They, this is how this is for them, okay. If you want true wish fulfillment, you need to stop dealing with people that don't have true love to offer, and you need to start <clears throat> following your intuition. And as you notice, I had to clear my throat throat chakra. Speak up speak up for yourself and the throat chakra is about telling the truth the sword of truth is right here be honest be honest with the other person but more importantly be honest with yourself do you want a perfect match <clears throat> or do you want somebody who just fulfills a few things because you have an opportunity for a perfect match. Or do you want to stay someplace where there's... It's not stable. It's false. It's a lie. It keeps you stuck. You know it's not right. Just because you don't want to be alone. Or do you really want that perfect match? What the hell do you deserve? Because there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection. But you need to find the strength to put yourself in the driver's seat and go get it. So you do have a new opportunity for love. If you are single, you may run into somebody that's not your usual type. This person is going to love you for who you are. They're going to help you to heal. They're bringing light with them. See how light that is? They see the light. But you need to pass this test. It's a test. Are what you is what you are doing right now practical? Is it? Is it practical? Is it stable? Is it secure? It doesn't look like it. And you've been stalling your golden opportunity from arriving. By staying wherever it is you're at. You have a new opportunity for love. Something that you can take to the bank. Something that could last forever. This is solid, stable. And whoever this person is, they're going to be solid and stable. But you have a karmic lesson to learn here. It's about finding your strength to say, nope, you're not it. So yeah, you have an opportunity for love. Perhaps this month, somebody could be coming into your life unexpectedly, out of the blue. This person could be a Gemini, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
could be Libra, but I don't think so. I think that that's the person. We have a, a few people here that are hindering you, which is Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this new lover could be a Gemini. It could be Cancer, because we have Cancer under there. That's upright. Um... Yeah, I would say Gemini, Cancer, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn because of the new opportunity right here. So, yeah, I'm thinking your new partner is probably a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Cancer. It's not a Scorpio because this it's not a Scorpio. It's not a Scorpio because of this one right here. The Tower is Scorpio. The Judgment is Scorpio. They're both reversed. No. No. It's not. A, I don't think it's a Libra either. I think the Libra is the karmic part of the, one of the people you may need to say, <laughs> sorry, but I can't. No. Somebody's, a few people are holding you back. They're stalling your happiness. Your, your happiness in this golden opportunity is completely stalled because you're dealing with people that are hindering you. Because you haven't mastered your emotions to go down that new path without them. Ooh, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. But be careful about who your friends are. And this could be part of the problem, which I think it probably is. Not everybody's your friend. Be careful who you listen to. I almost got my monkeys out for you guys. Be careful who you listen to. Negative brings breeds negative. Misery loves company. Mm, this is where you're at right now. Absolutely, 100%. You have an opportunity for new love. Could come probably in January. That's what I'm thinking. But you have to take this month to release yourself with the death card from this situation right now. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You have a new golden opportunity waiting for you to accept it. See it. You know, this could even come in the summertime. Okay. You have to take this time to deal with this unrequited love situation. You need to find your strength to set boundaries. And there's somebody's been overstepping their boundaries because you haven't set them. You may set them to a little tiny bit, but you don't go the whole distance. When you set a boundary... You set that fucking boundary. For real. So yeah, I feel as though somebody has an unexpected choice in love that's probably going to come. Could come in January. Could come in December. Could come during the summer. But you need to take this period of time to deal with this unrequited love situation. And heal, because the strength card is healing. And we got somebody here that doesn't want to take the time to heal. It's reversed. Yeah, it takes time to heal. And you know how you heal? Yeah, you might need your friends to help you. But the biggest healing comes from yourself. You do it alone. You can't skip the healing process. You may feel like you want to. You want to go right from one to the other. No. Mm -mm. You got to take that time to heal. Alone.
So yeah, I feel as though you guys have a new opportunity that's coming. And it's going to be solid. It's going to be stable. It's going to be something that lasts probably forever. Hopefully. Long term, for sure. It's what you deserve. But you are not going to get your de what you deserve until you be honest with yourself about a situation that truly needs to end. And you're, you, haven't, you haven't ended it yet. The world card reversed with the death card right next to it. It needs to end so that you can get your golden opportunity. <clears throat> so this is a month of making the decision to cut that cord. So that's what I have, Leo. You do have an offer of love for some of you that are ready that you... Because you're all at different stages, right? Some of you have already done the cutting. And you're receiving a new opportunity that you've manifested. Congratulations. Some of you have already done this. Some of you are still here in this situation. Some of you, you know, are at the very beginning stages. But some of you have this new offer coming in right away. So Leo, I feel as though this is a month of with that chariot card, putting yourself in the driver's seat of your own life and moving. That's moving. The the chariot is moving. Like moving. You could be moving house or making big, big, big moves. So yeah, it's about making moves that are going to bring a new positive golden opportunity into your life. So yeah, that's what I have. Good luck.